Okay, now that I have it rough forged, it's a little more square than I want it to be. So I'm gonna take my angle grinder, cut this side straight, cut it in, both sides. It's kind of rounded, but I think I'm just gonna make it straight and go from there. And basically, once I get that done, sharpen around the edges, drill a hole here for the center pin so it actually stays in place. Then basically just gotta heat treat, temper it, and knock it onto a handle, which I'll kind of have to make because I, I, they don't have handles that make custom stuff. So you have to custom make a handle out of a large shovel handle. Anyway, that shouldn't take very long. So I'm gonna start grinding and then heat treat.
I have my shovel handle ready. Bait. That wasn't the shovel handle. I'm working on the shovel handle. The uh, shovel head, this thingy, is ready. Now I'm ready to work on this. This is just a piece of hickory handle that I got at a local hardware store. Don't mind the mess behind me, my life's always a mess. And uh, basically I'm just gonna take a farrier's rasp, shape it a little bit. I'm also gonna keep the same shape beyond, well, because it works pretty well. I do wanna kind of flatten the edges because most of them they seem to round and edge alignment with that is terrible. And since I made this to basically be a more of an ax that shaped like a shovel, I decided that, you know, I might as well make it where you can get some edge alignment. So I'm gonna sand this a little bit, then I'm gonna probably remove all the, uh, let's probably polyurethane coat on it so I can burn it and then linseed oil it myself. I think it was so much nicer. Personal preference, you don't have to do that. You could just leave it plain if you want. You know, it's your choice, it's your, it's your project. You know, this is just how I do it. Basically, all I really did now is I just drilled a hole, put a rivet in it. Actually, it was a nail that I cut and used as a rivet. I didn't really film because there's nothing to film there. But basically, yeah, I have kind of a hand forged shovel. It's not as pretty as the cold steel one I was sort of basing this off of. I say sort of because it's very loose. This one is narrower. I think it's a bit heavier because it's a lot thicker. This, I wanted something that sat a little more between like an axe and a shovel. I mean, it's not the straightest thing, as you can see, it kind of curves forward a little bit. So, you know, you can dig. But, for having never forged a shovel before, it's not bad. I, you know, haven't really gone out and tested it yet. I plan on doing that this weekend. I say this weekend like it's not Friday night as I'm filming this. Or that, you know, you won't see this, you know, Friday night, like, three weeks from now. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, so, hand forged shovel. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. It does look pretty cool, I think. Yeah, it's not quite what I had in mind, but, you know, for having ever done it before, I think it turned out pretty well. So, I guess I'm gonna go, uh, dig some trenches or something. I don't know. I probably won't do a lot of digging with this, because most people don't like when I dig holes in their yard. I'll come up with something.